I work for the European Commission in Director General for Enlargement and in that Director General I work in the Kosovo Issues Unit. I work in the General Secretariat of the European Parliament and more concretely in the Secretariat of the Subcommittee on Human Rights. At the moment I work in DG Energy. I'm in charge of um, planning the work of the Director General in the context of the Commission's objectives and priorities. I studied international politics and during my studies um, I felt something was missing so I added international law to it. So I graduated twice actually, international law and international politics. I studied business administration um, in Austria and uh, then after my studies I did uh, a master's in politics and European public administration in Belgium. I studied actually interpretation and translation, English and German, but then I realized that interpreting was a very hard job for me and uh, I did kind of a U-turn and started then with a master's in political science and European studies. When I joined the commission I started in the area of justice and home affairs uh, in planning and reporting, policy planning and reporting. That meant coordinating the policy activities of the DG and trying to make sure that they fit into the Commission overall priorities. I then changed to external relations. I was in charge of the Western Balkans in the area of uh, home affairs. And at the moment I'm in DG Energy, again working on policy planning and reporting. In the Commission there is a lot of opportunities to do different sorts of jobs and, uh, and even later uh, to switch into other fields of work which may meet better the personal interest at that time. In my previous job, uh, when I was in charge of external relations uh, in the area of home affairs, I regularly had to accompany the Commission to meetings with ministers from Western Balkan countries and uh, prepare these meetings and then also ensure proper follow-up with the, uh, the countries in, in question. Uh, and that were certainly exciting moments to, to meet presidents or to meet ministers of interior or prime ministers of, of countries of the region. I think the most rewarding uh, aspect of the work is when you really meet people uh, who struggle for human rights and you see how determined and how motivated and how much strength they actually have. And in this sense, um, I know, for example, I was very impressed by one of our Sakharov laureates for the freedom of thought, who was 78 years old. He came to Strasbourg in December, but uh, he was for 30 years in prison. And uh, you are just touched by, by such pe strong people. We had a meeting with the government uh, of Kosovo Prime Minister and all the ministers included, where we uh, put to them all the problems uh, that we've identified and also problems that we've received uh, the day before from civil society organizations. So there were very, some very fresh uh, problems and we provoked immediately a response from the government. When I joined the Commission, um, I spoke uh, mostly English, French and German. And uh, in day-to-day -day work, I think English and to some degree also French were my, my most important languages. At the moment, um, as I'm working um, in a director general uh, that um, is uh, led by uh, a German commissioner, German is, is more important in my day-to-day -day work. Also, I have some more German-speaking colleagues. Um, languages are certainly very, very important. I think Brussels uh, is, is very welcoming uh, for people from outside. Uh, of course, there is a large international community as well, so it's very easy to, to integrate very quickly into different uh, sports uh, organizations or just uh, to, to walk around and explore uh, the city. It's, it's uh, very open and welcoming for that. I think what struck me most when I came here and, for example, when I went out for a beer after work was that uh, in a small square like the Place du Luxembourg, you can find people from 30 different countries, very compressed, very open, uh, to be in touch, uh, interested in getting to know you, you can get to know them, and that's a very enriching and special experience that probably you can't find anywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm.